A local actor and filmmaker who is an albino came up with the idea for the movie and now it's playing locally. And joining us tonight is the writer, star, and executive producer of The Albino Code, Dennis Hurley. Dennis, uh, looks pretty funny. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, Dennis, for those who do not know, who haven't seen the movie, tell us about the character in The Da Vinci Code that actually gave you the idea for this movie here. Okay, it's Silas, the sharpshooting, devout assassin hired by Opus Dei to kill the members of Priory of Sion in The Da Vinci Code. I just, it's a lighthearted parody. I thought it was just funny that Dan Brown has a a character who has albinism, which is marked by low vision, which m most albinos have very low vision, and make them the assassin. Well, Dennis Hurley, we appreciate your time this afternoon. I saw a little clip before the newscast. It is very funny, and we wish you the best. Thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you. Thriller's albino villain, played by Paul Bettany, has sparked anger among some albinos. <laughs> Now this real-life albino actor is parodying the character in a short film, The Albino Code. I burn easily. The movie The Da Vinci Code opens one week from today, but it's already generating lots of controversy, mostly, mostly with religious groups, but also with albinos, it seems. They have an issue with the film. Seen as Jeannie Most has the story. When Tom Hanks recently hosted Saturday Night Live, there was an albino bit. I object to the way albino monks are portrayed in your movie. I am an albino monk, and uh, we're pretty creepy. But real albinos do object. They're sick of being... The loner, the, the butt of a joke, or the creepy evil assassin. The Da Vinci Code. And retaliating with... The albino code. A 12-minute parody. It's an albino. 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 That is what I said. Actually, the name they prefer is... Person with albinism. Dennis Hurley is such a person. He's also an actor. You must kill two people and steal the sacred keystone. You know, my last job was at uh, Food Mart. The new blockbuster albino flick from fledgling albino filmmaker Dennis Hurley, who, by the way, happens to be an albino. My main problem is that he is using an albino character to induce fear in the audience. Point well taken. Whitey, albinos just want to be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. Or, 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 or lack thereof. Just saying. And so, you know, albinos don't want you to boycott the movie. They want to educate you. So, don't worry. And One man decided not to get mad. He got even, making a spoof of the movie called The Albino Code. No matter what movie you've seen, Dan Brown doesn't know jack about albinos. Are they uh, legal in this country? Joining me now is the writer, star, and executive producer of The Albino Code, Dennis Hurley. You know, a lot of Catholic groups who were very upset by the portrayal of the church and upset by the portrayal of Opus Dei said, this has been a good opportunity for us to sort of get the truth out there. Do you think it's been the same for the albino community? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We, um, we, this is probably the most media exposure we, we've ever gotten. And it's, uh, it's just good to, you know... It's catch the catch the media's attention through 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 humor. I think is is one of the best ways. Dennis Hurley is the writer, star, and executive producer. Thanks very much. We appreciate you coming in. Oh, thanks for having me.